Hello world and welcome back to another video on DC Legends. This is Daniel and with me as always is... Maddie, you ready to have some fun on DC Legends? That's right, because Maddie, it's all about having fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do today is uh, we had a comment that was left on one of our other videos that said we would love to see a beginner's guide. And so uh, this is going to be the first in a series of videos that we create. And we'll put a little playlist on our channel uh, that is based around lessons for beginners. And whether you're a first time user uh, on the DC Legends game or if you've been here for a long time, hopefully you'll learn a little something as we go through here because uh, I think that there's opportunities opportunities to learn for everybody as we go through the game. So, the very first thing that you need to learn whenever you're playing DC Legends, and we only have one rule that you have to follow whenever you're playing DC Legends, and Maddie, what is the one rule that they have to do every time I'm playing DC Legends? It's all about having fun! That's right! It's all about having fun! That's the most important thing that you gotta remember when, we're, when you're doing this thing, guys, is that DC Legends isn't about uh, it, it is competitive, it is about going up in the ranks, but come on, this is all about having fun. This is a game that's intended to be fun, because it's based off of comic book characters. And if you're like me, you grew up with comic books, and uh, now we live in a world where comic book movies are everywhere, and video games, and uh, TV, and cartoons, and it's just everywhere you look. And so, I, uh, my, my daughter is Maddie, and Maddie, how old are you? Six. Six years old. And Maddie likes having fun with her daddy playing DC Legends and comic books and watching all of the comic book movies. And she gets to learn about all of her favorite new characters like Harley Quinn and Supergirl and Wonder Woman and all of the other ones that Maddie loves as well. And so uh, there's a lot of stuff to love about DC Legends. And so that is the only number one rule that you have to follow whenever you're playing DC Legends is, guys, this is all about fun. So make sure that you have fun while you're doing this. If you get frustrated, if you're getting worn out, if you're spending time uh, not enjoying yourself and not enjoying uh, what's going on, then just take a break. Step away from it. Come back in a little while and, and, and enjoy your time. Because, Maddie, once again, what is the only rule that we have about DC Legends? It's all about having fun. It is all about having fun. All right, so we will give you a couple of extra lessons because that's the only rule that we have. But uh, there are a couple things that we think as a beginner that uh, is important to know. So the number one thing that you have to do, and uh, we got a little pointer here so you see it in between our two characters. We're going to spend a little bit of time using this pointer to direct you through some of the most important things. So up here in the left-hand corner, you want to spend some time looking at uh, these envelopes that are there. So we're going to open that up and take a look real quick. The number one thing that you're going to have to do every single day is spend some time going in and collecting your, uh, your, uh, your, sorry, your March login bonuses. So every month, every day, they have login bonuses. So make sure that whenever you start up your game, the first thing you're going to want to do is pick up whatever bonus is available. So you can see that me and Maddie have already collected our uh, login bonus for the day. And in this case, we had 10 character uh, fragments or hero fragments for Siren. And so as we go through here, we'll start to get a bunch of these gems. And there's a bunch of different gems that are important to know about. So one of the things that you'll want to look at is this green energy here, and that is called Essences. Essences allow you to go through the events. It allows you to upgrade characters. Uh, this is one of the most vital things in the game, and so all you have to do to collect these is just log in. And when you log in, you'll have the opportunity to collect your essences. So the next thing is Essence Gems. So if you get Essence and you get enough of it and uh, you, lo you log in enough times, you're going to get Essence Gems. And Essence Gems is what is used to unlock characters, to buy things in the shop, and it, you'll spend some time, uh, the more essence gems you get, the better. And so uh, one thing I will say to you is save your gems. When you have, uh, essences are going to upgrade all the time. So use your essences as will at will and, and use them as often as you want. But make sure you spend uh, very sparingly when it comes to the essence gems because those are very valuable. The next thing you'll see is that you have these little shards, uh, and, and these things are used to upgrade the gears of your character. And so you might not know what gears are yet or what all these things are yet, but we'll go through those in some follow-on episodes and some follow-on videos. 
The next important thing that you're going to see is willpower energy. Willpower energy is the first in, the, in a line of a lot of energies that you use. You, uh, this is the most basic one and the one that you'll be able to upgrade your characters with. After that, you'll see hope energy. That's the second level of energy that's used in the video. Finally, you'll see rage energy, which is the, the third level. So you've got your willpower energy, you've got your hope energy, and then you've got your rage energy, all of which are important and vital to use. So what is the thing that looks like a little flash bolt? Well, that's your speed force. Speed force allows you to go through a level that you've already completed faster so you can collect hero fragments or important uh, uh, fragments in, uh, that you'll use for the gears as well. So that kind of gives you an overarching view and an overarching look of some of the essences and gems and fragments that we use uh, all the time in DC Legends. So again, the most basic thing you can do is every day, make sure you go in and do your uh, login bonus and collect all of those. And then the second piece of advice that I should give you is if you have the time, and uh, we always recommend taking the time to do this, is complete all of your daily missions. So you'll see here that uh, me and Maddie have already completed a couple of them. And uh, you'll, as we go through the rest of the day, we'll complete all of the daily missions and we'll be able to come over here to the right hand side where it says collect and you'll be able to collect everything that you've already uh, uh, finished. So uh, one quick tip that I'll give you is if you look up here, uh, you'll see the, the blue and the blue is your, um, let's see here, that's just your energy. That's just known as energy. And so right now, uh, you can see that we only have 66 out of 106. And so if there was something that required us to do an event and it required 100 pieces of uh, energy to complete, I might be tempted to go into the shop and purchase some extra energy. But if you take a close look over here on the far left hand side, we're at 96% on our level. Always pay attention to where you are on your level because once you get your level to 100%, this energy will automatically be upgraded to whatever the other side is. So uh, whenever we get from 96 all the way to 100, this will be updated uh, from 96 and it'll go from 66 all the way up to uh, 106. So that's just a quick piece of advice. Always keep a close watch on your level because once your level gets to 100, this will be upgraded to, uh, in our case, it'll be upgraded to 106. So don't go buy anything until you've taken the first look right here at your level to see how close you are to getting to 100%. All right, so that concludes our first video for a beginner's guide of what to do in DC Legends. We'll be uh, upgrading these uh, probably every other day or um, maybe every three days we'll, we'll upgrade a brand new video uh, in our beginner's guide series and pretty soon we'll have a, an entire playlist for beginners. But this is episode one of the beginner's guide. And as always, we want you to do three things before you uh, finish watching our videos. Maddie, what are the three things that we want them to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. We want them. To, we want you to subscribe to our channel. What's the next thing we want them to do? Drop a like. Drop a like. So we hopefully you enjoyed our uh, video and and you enjoy our first beginner's guide. So please drop a like if you will. And Maddie, what's the last thing we want them to do? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing. If there's other things that you want us to talk about, then let us know and we'll try to cater uh, to bringing this out because this beginner's guide was all because somebody left a comment and said, hey, I'd love to see a beginner's guide uh, made by you guys. And so this is episode one of our beginner's guide. So please leave a comment and let us know what you want to see. So Maddie, is there anything else that you want to tell the people at home before we end our video? Bye, love, and thanks for watching. God bless you. Have a great night. Bye. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> you heard her. <laughs>